When given an explicit function and asked to find the first four numbers of the sequence, there are two different ways that you can uh, go about doing this problem. The first is to remember that this is my first term, this is my second term, this is my third term, and this is my fourth term. Those are essentially, you can think of them as your x values. So you could substitute in and say f of 1, which is my first term, is equal to 12 times 2 to the first power. 12 times 2 to the first power, and you can type that in any calculator that you want, would be 24. Next, I'll substitute in a 2 for x. So 12 times 2 to the second power, if you don't have a calculator, you can say, hey, 2 to the second power is 4, and 12 times uh, 4 is 48. My next one, I'm going to plug in, sorry, i got to catch up with my fingers here, 3. 12 times 2 to the third. Well, 2 to the third is 8. 12 times 8 is 96. Next, you guessed it, I'm going to plug in 4. So when I plug in 4, 2 to the 4th power is 32, I hope it is anyway, uh, or 16. No, nah, it's 16. First mistake I've made all day. Okay, trying to do math in my head. Anyway, uh, 12 times 16 is 192. The second way you can do this problem is down at the bottom using the formula. So we'll pretend like we don't know that those answers were that. Uh, it asks first for the constant ratio, or it's, it leaves a blank for the constant ratio, and I know that the constant ratio is 2. So I'm multiplying everything by 2. I know that my 0 term is 12, so that means that I like to put a 0 over here and fill in 12, because that's not part of my sequence. So I'm going to be timesing by 2. 12 times 2 is 24, times 2 is 48, times 2 is 96, times 2 is 192.